going to draw some pumpkins because it's starting to get to be pumpkin season. I'm sure you guys are seeing pumpkins all around and at the grocery store and maybe even been to a pumpkin patch. Right, so we're going to start with the stem. So it's a curved line like that and a curved line like that. Now just draw a little wiggly line. Now draw a curve on top there because it's been cut off the stem now. From there, we're going to draw a curved line, like a very narrow C, and that's going to be the middle of the pumpkin. And then we're going to put curved lines behind the stem going down. They don't have to touch the very bottom though. So a curved line here, and a curved line here, and then you can do another one, and the more curved lines you put, the bigger, fatter your pumpkin is. You can see how I do that? And I don't um, have them reach each other because we're going to put a pile of leaves that the pumpkins are sitting on. I'm going to do one more here, one more over here. So the bottom is kind of implied. You can have those touch if you want, but we're going to, like I say, fill that in with leaves now. So at the bottom, there's just going to be like all the leaves have blown around and gathered up under this pumpkin. So it's just one curved line going one direction, and then another curved line going the other direction, meeting at the top. We're just going to make a bunch of leaves together. Right, I'm going to make some leaves with me. See how we're doing a curved line this way, a curved line that way. We want our leaves to kind of all be going different directions. And to show leaves going under other leaves, we start kind of halfway through one, come up that. Let's see how I'm doing that. You guys make some leaves now. It's time to add our horizon line. To add your horizon line, you just do a straight line across a horizontal line. Pick up your pencil. Don't draw through your pumpkin. And start on the other side and just draw a horizontal horizon line. All right, now that we've all drawn that, get a Sharpie and we're gonna trace it. Everybody trace your pumpkin with a Sharpie. Go ahead and trace everything with a Sharpie. And that's all we're going to do for today. And then next week, we're going to color in our pumpkins. So now it's time to color in our pumpkins. And I'm only giving you the three primary colors. We're going to mix yellow and red to get orange. Yellow and, orange, yellow and red make orange. So see how we're using our primary colors to make secondary colors. All the colors that we need for our picture are all secondary colors. Now we use a big brush for the big areas and then use a little brush for the little areas inside. So I'm going to give you two brushes here, a big brush and a little brush, and you can mix with both just to get inside all of those little leaves there. We're going to color those leaves in other colors. We're not coloring those in orange. We're going to color those in brown later. All right, I'm going to finish painting this orange pumpkin. Little bit of blue will go a long way. You don't want to add too much blue to your yellow. 
and there is your green grass. And then, again, you use your big brush for big areas, and your little brush for the little tiny details around the leaves. Alright, I'm going to continue to mix some green and paint in my green grass. Again, wash and dry your brush really well, and then you're going to do the night sky. Remember, you want to wash and dry your brush really well before mixing so that your colors stay bright and vibrant. A little bit of blue in the red. Remember that blue is a very strong color, so you just take a little bit at a time to make a nice purple, dark purple night sky. Use your big brush for the big areas, and if you need to use your little brush, use your little brush for the little areas. Alright, once that is painted in, it's time for your brown leaves and your brown stem. Brown is mixing all the colors together. So pour every, put everything in the middle of your plate to get all these different kinds of brown. And you're going to find that there's a lot of different shades of brown. This is sort of a purpley brown. You can make more of a yellow brown, more of a red brown, more of a blue brown, more of a purple brown, more of an orange brown. Hmm. But these are all different kinds of browns. Carefully try to color in with your little brush, those little leaves. Now, because you can make so many different kinds of browns, have your leaves be different colors of brown. Because fall leaves that are on the ground, you can find, are actually all different shades of brown. So I'm making some light brown with my yellow, and some dark brown with my blue. And then after I've colored in all of my leaves, I'm going to find my favorite brown, and that will be my stem color. that yellow brown so that is going to be my stem color and I color in my stem brown and that is it now you have an awesome secondary color pumpkin patch mm -hmm. 